Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth on Ark Survival Ascended. And I'm going to show you how to easily defeat the Manticore boss using just a few different things. But there are a few very important things you need to know when you're fighting this boss. But it is pretty easy if you know what to look for. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, anyways, what you're going to need is one thing to ride. I'm going to use the Fastless Succus in this one. And then you're either going to need a bunch of lightning wyverns or a bunch of fire wyverns not mixed between the two you do not want lightning and fire reason being is lightning wyverns do not take damage from lightning from lightning wyverns whereas fire wyverns don't take damage from fire wyverns if that makes sense but they do take damage from the opposite so a lightning wyvern will take damage from a fire wyvern and a fire wyvern will take damage from a lightning wyvern so you want all of one type. Lightning Wyvern tends to off put more damage and uh, that's gonna be kind of what you're looking for. These are completely wide, like no levels have been put into them. They have around 10,000 health and 300 melee, all of them. And then the only thing you need to make sure is turned on for all of them is enable special AI attacks, which you will have to do to every single one of them. Um, but once you do that, that's the hardest part of the actual fight. The rest of it is just knowing where to go and what to do. Do you want a something that you can ride on to tank because you're going to face off against death worms, which are pretty easy. And then towards the end of the fight, you're going to face off against rock elementals. Those are not fun because each one of them has around 50,000 health and it really sucks. So um, that's pretty much the uh, major points of the boss fight. If you want to bring in some med brews and stuff like that for yourself, you can, but it's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Um, and this is going to be done on Gamma. And yes, this is on a solo player. So technically, it's going to be 30% easier than uh, doing it on official. So bring a few extra Lightning Wyverns. I'm not even bringing the max number of allowable um, into this boss fight. So take that for what you will. Now, what you're going to do is once you get inside of the actual boss fight, you are going to whistle period because period is going to allow you to attack this target. And that's what we're aiming for. If you can't get period off before it actually uh, goes, it's okay to use neutral. But towards the end of the fight, the uh, lightning wyverns are going to aim towards the what you don't want them to aim towards. So get your thing as close as you can up there and then whistle period on him. Now, again, the point of that is to have the lightning wyverns only focus on the manticore itself. Now you will take damage from that lightning, so just be careful. I usually stand way off to the side um, and you can see it's just an absolute murder fest in there. Um, now, again, that point, notice how they're not doing damage to each other. Uh, the Lightning Wyverns will all continue to attack like that, and they will continue to output an insane amount of damage. Uh, now, I do not have the max number of Wyverns, by the way. I think you can bring in the total would be 19, obviously, and then one either Fazla, Succus, or Rex that you can ride on. And uh, that is completely doable, just so you know. Now... A lot of people try and like get into the walls and try and cheese this boss fight. This is one of the hardest boss fights to cheese due to the fact that these little turds, there they are, can pretty much hit you from just about anywhere. And uh, yeah, not fun to face off against them. So you just want to be able to attack these things and then just fight them one on one while your wyverns are focused elsewhere. Now, the reason that we bring in a little bit of a bigger team is because towards the end of this fight, in all actuality, you are going to be tanking the uh, rock elementals and that sucks it's not fun there's nothing good about tanking rock elementals um and you, you want to avoid that to the best of your ability uh so we're gonna sit here defend it and then the rock elementals is kind of the the crappy part but you know we're doing just fine obviously you can see how quick work the uh wyverns are making of the mana core it can only attack so fast so that's another thing now, on official, there is a way to prevent the Manticore from actually knocking out your Wyverns, and it's a really valuable thing. If you whistle follow all to well, as soon as you get into this uh, boss fight, so J whistle and then use the period, uh, that's going to save you a ton of trouble because what will happen is the Wyverns will end up coming back to you, and when they get knocked out, they're going to kind of like get a little bit of a glitchy thing going on. And uh, it prevents them from not only getting knocked out, but they try and follow you instead of getting knocked out. And then they go back into the fight because their torpidity timer is so fast. Ouch. Can you not do that and say we did? How's that sound, buddy? All right, so we're going to keep biting on this guy. And we're doing just fine. Basil Succus makes quick work of him. A Rex is the best thing to bring in because you can get those suckers up to like 50, 60,000 health and just tank everything. This is a primitive saddle one. Ooh, I got a uh, treasure chest, uh, chest off of one of them. Um, and then it only has 14k health. The, the, stand, uh, the melee, I mean, is 2,000, so that's really, really high. 
um, but it's it's not really that good of a Phasilosuchus because it's just a 150 un, unimprinted one and uh, yeah, not too shabby. But again, you can see he's already down to like 40% health. We can look at our wyverns over there. They look like they're doing great. Um, looks like most of them are at like 75% health. And these are unleveled wyverns too, so keep that in mind. Um, so once you get down to about 15 to 20% health on the Manticore, you need to watch out for the rock elementals dropping in. And that's what makes it so important to actually fight the uh, death worms and all that stuff early because you have to just tank the rock alleys. There's not really a good way to take out rock alleys. Um, and that's kind of just, it, it is what it is. So the rock alleys can mostly be avoided by just sitting up here where I am uh, because they'll get stuck trying to attack you right here and there's not much they can do. So that's just fine. Um, that's the big tips that I have for this boss fight. You can do it with um, Argentavis. I've seen it done uh, because they are so much tankier and they can tend to uh, off put a lot of damage. They can be quite dangerous. But the negative thing about Argentavis, they're not as fast as the Manicore, especially on like alpha settings. So on alpha settings, they kind of just end up playing a game of not being able to catch and don't do enough damage, whereas Wyverns uh, can keep up and catch the Manticore. So, yeah, that is what it is. Um, and right now we should be pretty close to seeing the rock alleys spawning in. And this is where it's really important. If you haven't done it at this point to whistle attack my target and here are the rock alleys and notice how, because I'm right here, they can't hit me and they just get stuck down there. And that that's what we want. Yeah. Screw you guys. Can't do anything about it. Ha ha. Ow. That hurt. Um, but they will try and attack you, but there's obviously they get stuck on that cliff. You can let them throw rocks at you. It's not that big of a deal if they do. Um, it, oh, they can get up now. Okay, they used to not be able to get up. Um, and then you kind of just got to tank up until the point where you uh, can't really, you just got to sit here and tank. That's, 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 the, only, that's the only thing I can say. Um, so you should be, should be pretty good because as long as you've got a, a decent Fazolo and maybe a good saddle would be a good idea, um, you can kind of just sit up here and just soak this thing because notice how almost dead the manticore is. If you were to bring a shotgun in, you were concerned you could start shooting the manticore when it's not being attacked by your wyverns because you can shoot off the back of these guys, um, which is pretty nice, obviously. Uh, so the Phasilosuchus are better than the Rex for that reason. So if you wanted to, if you had a uh, tech gun, you could easily shoot it with a tech gun, but obviously that's not what it is. So it should be just about dead. And there we go. And congratulations, you have now defeated your first Manticore fight. Even on Gamma, it is worth it because 60 element right off the bat, plus the Gamma Manticore um, shield, I guess, uh, what's it called? Uh, trophy wall mount. You don't get the shield skin until Alpha, maybe? Um, but that's it. And you just grab this and you're good to go. So yeah, pretty sweet little easy way to do the boss fight. Um, Alpha is a little bit more difficult. You want really, if you're going to do it on Alpha, I would bring Fire Wyverns because the burn is really effective against the Mana Core. I would literally have 19 in there with really good stats and then make sure you have a good Rex or a good Phasla Succus because it's going to hurt, man. It really is. Now, the other way you can do this boss fight is by going with Rexes, by the way. And if you do go with Rexes, do not bring any shoulder mounts and do not bring any flyers. Otherwise, the Mana Core will not land. So that is, uh, that is the only other options you really have. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach out.